What up, boys? It's Gaz, and welcome to the channel. I was actually having a great day today. I knew that Heart of Dimos was going to come out today, or Heart of Dimos Arcana was going to come out today. Had a long, hard day of working, looked at the patch notes, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Hey, they're actually improving some stuff today. Uh, they pushed out a dev workshop on some stuff they're going to be fixing, uh, some things they took some feedback on from the forums and all that, and I'm like, all right, cool. And then the update actually comes out, and guess what? Well, there was some stuff they changed that was not on a test cluster, because you know why? They're crappy changes! And they actually are... They gave a gigantic, hardcore nerf to Korra's first ability, Whipclaw. And, you know, maybe maybe you didn't like Korra killing all the enemies in your mission. And you know what? Maybe it was a little bit overpowered. But you know what? There's a lot of stuff in this game that is, air quotes, overpowered. So, when you start looking at other frames, other options that we have, there's frames like Baruch, there's frames like Saren, there's frames like all this other stuff that is extremely powerful still, yet Korra gets to nerf, and I think they're trying to skate... I, let's get into it, okay? Let's get into it. I'm going to go over... They have two dev workshops that came out today. We're going to focus on some individual stuff in these dev workshops, and I'm, I'm going to try not to blow my lid because I am not happy. All right, so let's get into it. Let's start with the Steel Essence nerf. So now this is actually an interesting thing we have to look at here. Now we knew they were going to nerf Steel Essence farming um, because of... Because, oh, let's be real. We... Guys, the player base is not stupid, okay? People that watch this channel are not stupid. I'm not stupid. We knew why they were nerfing Steel Essence uh, acquisition. They removed it from Eximus units in the Steel Path. That was a gigantic mur murdering nerf to Steel Essence farming. We know that, okay? You, you know that, I know that, we all know that. Even DE knows that. But look at this garbage. They're trying to scapegoat they, they, here's their reasoning for why they're they're nerfing Steel Essence. And it's, it's just such a load of crap. I'm going to read it to you just so there's no uh, illusion of what they're saying here. Steel Path Acolyte Changes. In addition to written feedback and the poll results, we did a full statistic review of the amount of Steel Essence earned this weekend on the test cluster and are moving forward with the values provided on the test cluster. Three Essence per alert and two per Acolyte. Eligible for resource amount boosting. We settled on these values. Okay, here, so here's here's the paragraph right here that you should be paying attention to. We settled on these values because of what happens when they're broken down by different acquisition methods. People gain Steel Essence at better rates when playing normally. I.e., no AFK macro detected. Bullshit. We do not... I do not use AFK macros. I've been a, uh, a person that has been against them the entire time. Don't... Try to lump me in with an AFK macro player. Do not. And people that run Odin, do not try to lump them in with AFK macro farming. We are literally playing the game. Every single second that I was farming Steel Essence, I was playing the game. If you don't ban people that are using AFK macros in your game, which is against your terms of service, that's not our fault. You're being uh, incompetent at upholding your terms of service banning people who are cheating in your game. Don't try to put that on me. Bullshit. In practice, the actual dependency on RNG and Eximus spawning is gone. You will have a stable, matchmaking-friendly way to reliably earn Steel Essence in shorter intervals across more content. That is also incorrect. There is RNG because when the, when, when the Acolyte spawn is still random. They don't reliably spawn at five minutes in like, you can be, what I'm trying to say is, you could be in a capture mission, they won't spawn for over 10 minutes, guys. So it's still RNG, and that is incorrect. In our view, it's better to reward broader diverse play than hyper, than, than hyper reward idle strategy. It's not idle strategies. I'm spamming bullet jump back and forth on Odin while pushing a bunch of buttons. If you're trying to call that idle, you are just trying to make a scapegoat response, which is what they're doing here. And the stats confirm this to be a case. On paper, the absolute top 1% of missions will see less steel essence per hour, i.e. the single strategy AFK macro run. I'm going to be honest. There, I, And yes, I know this. There are there were still nodes you could AFK macro on. But you know what? Not everyone is doing that. You look in recruit chat. Most people were looking for Odin. They weren't looking for 
I'm looking to AFK macro. You should be banning people who are AFK macroing. You should not be punishing the entire player base for some bad eggs. And that's what you're doing. This is what you did. It, the, I was not mad about the Steel Essence nerf until this. Until they gave us their reasoning. They're saying it's AFK macro. They already have hurt the survival spawn flow from AFK anti-AFK macro uh, measures. They should just be upholding their terms of service. They, we made it in the previous Ophelia video. There are certain spots where the AI will not run towards you anymore. If you're camping. This is this is really, really bad. This is a really bad look for them. They're, they're trying to... They're referring to like... People, so like... I'm sure you've seen the video. You, or maybe you haven't. The video on Odin. It's a, we're playing interception. We're capturing points. We're killing enemies all over the map. We're, we're not... There's li I'm literally tabbed in the game the whole time. Pay, giving my full attention to the game. I might read Twitch chat here and there, but I am completely focused on the game. That is not AFK macro at all. And you can't AFK macro uh, Odin. The Steel, the steel Path Acolytes have received status, uh, effect, tangibility. Okay, whatever. Don't farm Steel Essence from Acolytes. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to try it out. It's not going to be good though, guys. I, I've been hearing lots of reports. They, they spawn very randomly. And RNG is still a factor. Okay, so yeah, we just talked about how they nerfed steel, steel Essence for a crappy reason. Well, we've got even more for you right here. On the actual patch notes for today, they've nerfed Korra. There is now line of sight checks on Whipclaw's radial damage. What that means is it will not hurt enemies through walls anymore. That, and there's no, they didn't give any context on what happened. So in this update today, what we got, we got some really crappy Warframe buffs for other frames, like Necros can execute enemies at 25% health. Oh boy. And in return, Korra got a gigantic nerf. Now don't get this, don't get it twisted. Korra can still one-shot level cap with her whip claw. The damage is still the same, but it's a huge usability hit, and it also just makes the frame a lot less fun to play. You might whip an area and not actually kill the enemies now, because you'll see no damage numbers. And what's really mind-blowing is frames like Baruch can still do this. Baruch, if you didn't know this, Baruch punches through walls still. How long until that gets nerfed? Are we starting another nerf uh, palooza? Because we already know that they're excited to nerf stuff in December. And I've, like I said, whispering of doom, of there being crit slash procs nerfed into non-existence. Crit and status not mixing together. There is whisperings of doom that that will happen. I think they need to either revert the Steel Essence uh, removal from Eximus units, or revert the nerf to Korra. Because it feels like they're both in the same, the same lane, in the same vein. Because what were most people using Korra for? For farming Steel Essence on Odin, farming it on Ani, farming it on Gabi... All these different missions. We were literally just using Korra to farm Steel Essence. Who cares about using Korra in actual gameplay? The Steel Path is now useless. They look like idiots for nerfing because AFK macros instead of banning the players. And they also nerf Korra as a double whammy. We are just using the tools provided to us. Just because we're smart and know how to actually use the tools in your game that we know better than you, don't punish us for it. And, and, we, and, and also, don't treat us like we're idiots. We know why you nerfed Steel Essence drop rates. It's because it was the best Kuva farm. The next best Kuva farm is like Arbitrations or Kuva Survival Requiem. And that is like, that is like a third of how much you'd be getting from uh, Steel Essence turn-ins. And you know, you know I, wouldn't have, I seriously wouldn't have minded if they slightly nerfed Steel Essence amounts. May get 25 Steel Essence for 10k Kuva. Or 30. You know what? Then we can still at least have some fun, feel rewarded from doing a Steel Path survival solo or whatever. Oh, I got 30 Steel Essence at the end. I got 10,000 Kuva. I feel like that wasn't a waste of time. Steel Path survival mission, endurance missions are a waste of time going forward. They are. They are a waste of time. You should also be banning these AFK macro players. It's mind-blowing that you're not doing this in the first place. And the, the, here's the reason, here's why I'm so mad, is because riv, like, ribbons are not necessary. Don't get it twisted. Ribbon mods are not necessary, but they're like the only semblance of like end game loot we have in this game that makes your character stand out as special. The things that make you stand out as special in this game and unique are your fashion frame and your ribbon mods. You know why? Because, you, sure, someone could take your fashion frame color for color, 
But you know what someone can't take from you uh, completely and be the same as you is a Riven mod. For example, my Shadu Riven is one of my favorite Rivens. It's critical chance, multi-shot damage, minus zoom. Hardly anyone else in the entire game has that exact same Riven. And even if they do have the same stats on it, it's not the same numbers on it. So you are unique because of that. And you know what? Why does it even matter anymore? Because we don't need these mods, and they're they're making it so Kuva's even more hard to come by. If they want to keep the, the Rivens like this, like, Rivens are so neglected. I've said this, this I'm not going to talk about this too much because we've been on this topic a lot before. Rivens are so neglected. Since launch, we've never been able, they've not really iterated on Rivens more. They've just given us more Kuva. And this is, this is shutting off a bunch of the Kuva. We should be able to have some control over the RNG in our Rivens. There should be a pity timer. Every five to ten, every five Riven rolls or every ten Riven rolls, you are guaranteed something all right or decent. That's what they sh we should be doing. It's garbage right now. You can get negative multi-shot. You can get negative damage. You can get stash duration plus zoom plus damage to infested on the same roll with negative damage. You, you, we need a pity timer on Rivens. We need something like that. We need Riven slivers to be useful. Maybe involve Riven slivers with that. Okay, every five rolls of a Riven, you can put in 20 Riven slivers to guarantee it something somewhat decent. Okay? We, that's, this is terrible. This is terrible. The, the reason it's such a big deal is because they have not improved the Riven system ever. And it's, it's, what, what else is, what, okay, Arcanes, Arcanes of the Loot? We, Arcanes are one and done content. You get, you get 21 copies of an Arcane, you have the R5, you're done. You can, you can get more to sell to people. Okay? Technically, you, you would never really be... Because the thing is, the Riven RNG is so terrible that you'll never get exactly what you want. If you want to get a multi-shot, critical chance, critical damage, minus zoom, trum to Riven, that, uh, that mod might not even exist. And having a pity timer on Rivens where every five rolls you're guaranteed something decent, it's going to require a lot of dev time by the devs to make that work. But you know what? At least we won't feel so burnt and feel like... We're fighting against you, and you're the enemy. Feeling like the devs are the enemies in regards to ribbons, okay? And you'll still make money. There will be more good ribbons in the in the in the wild. Oh, look, this guy got a trumna room. It's critical chance fire rate and uh, minus zoom. You know, that's not what I want. I want critical chance multi shot critical uh, damage minus zoom. But hey, this one's actually pretty good. I'm willing to at least consider buying that one. There's more good ribbons in the wild. More people are buying them potentially. Now, I'm not going to say that's a guarantee, especially because I don't want to spend any more money on this game after these changes. Um, and this is just a, a long, a, another one in the long list of these nerfs that D Knee Jerk goes through with. Um, I mean, we've got Zorus, we've got all this stuff. I don't, I don't want to go over the list right now because we've gone over it plenty of times. But yeah, guys, I really feel like this this is getting we're getting to a tipping point right now. We're getting to a tipping point. I was a lot more mad this. Uh, when I saw these changes earlier, because I read, I, here's the thing, I read over the patch notes, I'm like, oh, this looks like a pretty good patch, you know, like, nothing really bad, and then I looked in Discord, and someone's like, hey, Gaz, did you see, uh, did you see they nerfed Korra? I'm like, wait, what? It was so sneaky, if you look at, if you look at the, uh, if you look at this patch, like, this is like in the middle of like, a hundred pages of stuff, a really, there was one small line of Korra, I highlighted it right here, because like, oh, here's the thing, this was not in a test cluster. All of these changes were on the test cluster besides Korra, guys. And you know what? I saw when the, the DE devs say, oh, that change wasn't on the test cluster because it wasn't in the game yet. Oh, oh, you're telling me the one change that's controversial wasn't on the test cluster? Oh, how convenient. How convenient. Good thing you had Atlas's bulwark dealing bullshit, terrible damage on there. Yeah, yeah, let's get that 100 slash damage on the top. Yeah, make sure everyone can test that one out. Let's not put Korra's Whipclaw having line of sight requirements. Yeah, the, the one controversial change. Yeah, don't put that on there, dude. No, 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 no. Uh, wait until, no, nope, they, they can't test. No, no, we can't get that out there ahead of time. People are going to freak out. You know what, guys? Go freak on the forums. Flood the forums with this is BS. You're, we're, you're treating us like we're stupid. You don't, we know why you nerf Steel Essence. Don't let them get away with this. Don't let them get away with this. Let's take this game back from the, the devs that are ruining it. They are driving this game into the ground. We have to take it back from them. And we have to show them who's boss. Because you know what? We are the reason that they can make this game. Okay? We are the reason. No, We're the ones that give them their paychecks. We are the ones that matter. And our opinions matter. They took some feedback from the forums. I appreciate that. But you know what? You can't sneakily hide. Look, look, it's right here. There, every frame is on here besides Korra. 
Zephyr wasn't. Uh, Zephyr's right there. They they are trying to sneak it past us. They think we're stupid. Okay, they think we're stupid. No, we're not stupid. We're we we might be gamers, but we're smart gamers. All right. That's it for the video today, guys. Uh, sorry if it was a uh, you know a little bit. Actually, I'm not sorry. No, this is how it is. We deserve better. We deserve to be treated like the very supportive player base that we are. And just because I don't want to put up with their garbage should not mean that I get treated like I'm an AFK macro player when I work very hard to find these strategies to make these builds. My Cora builds what, like, seven... It's like seven Forma on the frame. Venari's got, like, five Forma on her. The, the Stat Sticks got five, six Forma on it as well. And I've got a Riven, all these mods, all this Endo. And Cora is one of the hardest frames to farm in the game. You, you can't make this stuff up, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.